Hey everyone, a Nerd Day Mark here, and it's time to review episode 24 of Common Art Geeks. It's a clip show. At first I was like, do I do a, should I review a clip show? Um, we were given some new information on some stuff about the DGP, as well as pushing the story forward into what we're going to get starting with episode 25. And I was like, do I just pull up some old clips from my reviews and, you know, deep dive into what I was right about, what I was wrong about? And I was like, nah, I'm just going to talk about the information that we got that's new that was given while some clips were being played i did like uh just starting everything off how this episode started with like a message from the dgp uh saying that this was a special episode as management is working to resolve some unforeseen issues um you know and samas and miram were talking and samas was, you know was, they were like hey we're giving you an emergency special uh, which is basically going to give us some more information about the DGP. And I was like, yay, give us some real information. Because one of the main things I got early on in this episode was when they, they brought up how the participants were picked. They said that uh, potential players were selected by the audience. Now, I knew with like supporters in this and that, they picked, you know, participants to, you know, help out and support. And we knew that with the newer arc for the DGP, the audience was voting on, like, you know, their favorite player to keep them in the game. And the person with the lowest votes was going to get kicked out. I didn't know they had anything to do with actually selecting who was going to be participating in the DGP. And at first I was like, maybe that's a translation issue, maybe. Because it was one, one you could change one word in that statement. It would have made a totally different situation. But when we get Gene and Ace sitting down in his little pocket dimension lounge and he um you know even ace points out what i was thinking like is this really time for a special but at the same time you think about it it's a perfect time because don brothers finale aired last night as well and let's face it everyone's talking about don brothers i'm still in the middle of marathoning it i'm 37 episodes in at the time of recording this um i'm hoping to get everything done and watch the final episode by like Tuesday. That's my goal. Because uh, I want to do a video going over it. Because um, I'm really enjoying it. Actually, I'm actually really enjoying that. But this is about Geats. Not Don Brothers. Uh, so while they're on the screen. They show all this different stuff. For different time periods that the DGP has taken place. They show like Egypt and Greece. And this and, and I'm like. Okay. Um, even Kawa asks like how many other time periods has everything gone over and Kekker even says you know various past time frames but also some time frames that you would consider the future for you and I'm like ooh, that may have been like just a throwaway line but man I am very intrigued what that means because if they're I want to know like are we gonna get a glint of this future time frame like now that's like stuck in my head that one line that one sentence that Kekker has said I'm like I need to know uh, and the cool thing is we also got to learn why the supporters of, you know, Ace, Nago, or Nan, and Kewa, like, why they picked them. You know, uh, Gene even says that he became a supporter before Ace even entered the DGP and was a fan because we finally get a flashback to pre-DGP Ace where he's just walking down the street, his little suit on, his little handbag, and he sees Jamato and people running, and he starts fighting them. And I guess that's what impressed Gene. And then we see Sumeri approach Ace shortly after, giving him his desire driver. And I was like, I think, I, I do believe this is the first time we saw a pre-DGP Ace. I'm not sure. It was actually a really cool scene because we also got a scene to see Ace do his first henchin. And usually with Kamen Rider, we get our main characters, you know, first time henchining, usually in the first episode. But we didn't get that we were already towards the end of a dgp in the first episode so it was kind of cool to go back and see ace first time turning into comrade you could see even him fighting the jamato like how his fighting style and everything isn't as fine-tuned and as a uh, extravagant and flashy as it is now but i was like that is it was really cool to see um that in this clip show that was one of the highlights for me no pun intended um i i feel like the main gist of this clip this this episode wasn't just for the dgp but to give us more on the supporters and what 
they saw in the participants. Because when we get, you know, uh, Kakura talking to Keiwa, um, he, he says, you know, he just liked how he was like, you know, he just showed that he had what it takes because they went back to the first scene. And it was when the building was being destroyed and Nan was falling and Kewa, you know, tried to reach out and save her and this and that. Like, so that impressed Kakura. And then we also learn from Nan's supporter, who, Kuhn, who we still don't, haven't seen yet in this episode so far. You know, he had, there's like a piece of paper in his little lounge and like the words could just appear on it. Like this old show that was around when I was a kid called Ghost Raider, I believe. Uh, so basically in that note, um, we learn that, you know, they couldn't stand watching Nan feel so lonesome and out of place in her own home. And I was like, okay, you know, the, one of the few things about this clip show that is pushing the narrative forward is while this, we're watching this as if it's something airing on TV to watch and we get the static showing up um, beforehand, but right before that, we we find out that because of Baroba's interruption and interference in the DGP, it's postponed indefinitely. I don't think that's the case, obviously. Um, it will probably come back once this new arc that's starting after this clip show is over. But, uh, like I said, as Miram starts to explain that the new plan is to get the, vision, the driver back, and the broadcast starts getting all shaky and staticky. And we find out Sumeri comes rushing in. She's like, someone's hacking the broadcast. And now we get Baroba, who's just sitting there menacing. And we're going to get our Jamato inspired portion of the clip show, which I'm like, I wanted more information. This is what I want. This is what I wanted. Because I, we know, let's face it, it's called Spade a Spade. The Jamato are not alien invaders trying to destroy Earth. That was a ploy. That's the story they were going with in the first arc for the DGP. Um, we find out that, you know, the Jamato were that were created by the DGP as the antagonists. And we also find out, you know, confirmed, even though we knew, that the humans were being used as fertilizer. And because of this, this is why they were starting to evolve. And now they just want to exist in this world where humans are. Um, and Baroba welcomes us all to the Jamato Grand Prix. And let me, I'm just going to say this real quick. The, the logo, fire. I like the Jamato Grand Prix logo. Enjoyable. And the main goal of the Jamato Grand Prix is to defeat Niram, who's the final boss, and steal his driver. And whichever Jamato succeeds in doing that will be crowned the Jamiati <laughs> and will get their ideal world granted. And I'm like, you know what? That's cool. I like this. Even Niram looks a little like concerned. And. The clip portion of the show basically is over now because we're going right into Jamato real time attacking uh, the city and the civilians. And we just find out really quick that Baroba backed uh, Azuma uh, because he caught her eye with his unwavering animosity towards a common rider. And I'm like, well, it would make sense. She's kind of anti DGP. He wants to be powerful and destroy all the common riders. So. You know, it makes sense, you know, from the standpoint just for us to get why she's backing him as well. So now we know why all of our supporters are backing who they're backing. Um, but the cool thing is we got some civilian fighting with Kewa and Neon fighting Jamato. Ace shows up. Um, you know, even Ace questions like, hey, why are you guys here? You get no reward for this. And the main thing I was worried about, because the scans have been leaked. We saw Baroba last week with her very CG mecha. My main concern was we were going to get, you know, after the leaks, we were going to see Kakura and Kuhn and how CG their, um, their mecha forms were going to be. But I did like that, you know, Gene and Baroba, Baroba kind of had that, like, showdown really quick. And, you know, he's just like, I'm a fan. I don't want to interfere. But, you know, I want to see the D DGP back to normal. So now he's like, let's go. Uh, Kakura shows up in a human form. And he even said it, it's a pretty good human design. So I'm like, okay, what the hell is he then besides a frog statue? And then we see Kuhn showing up and I'm like, oh, look, it's Kuhn. We now know who Kuhn is and, you know, it's the guy. Uh, I will say all four supporters, because it's going to be three of you one in this fight, because they all agree, hey, we got to stop Baroba. We want to see our participants win the DGP, so we need the DGP back. 
cool little scene of all four of them henching. You know, I thought it the CG I didn't hate as much as I thought I was going to. The action sequences were pretty cool. Um, there was one shot where Ace Geats is fighting Jamato in the forefront, and in the background you see them all like all the supporters fighting uh, Baroba, and I thought that was really cool looking. Um, like I said, it, the CG didn't look bad. I I didn't hate it. It wasn't. It was. It was pretty good. Um, at the end of it, we got, and that's kind of how it ended with all this. Like, there wasn't really a lot to this. Like, you know, the main thing was, hey, clip show, story so far, we're basically halfway through this season. And then we end with a Jamato Grand Prix rule. <laughs> and it was the Jamato Grand Prix is a game where Jamato battle humans to attain their ideal world. Um, I don't, I hope this after the way the disaster arc and everything was, I'm really hoping this arc just some story plot moving forward, obviously, but I'm hoping because it's the Jamato Grand Prix, we get some more information on some plot holes. Uh, so I'm really hoping we get a good amount of action. I, I'm hoping this leads to like a really good showdown between Ace and Azuma. Um, but Right now, I'm like, I'm not really going to theorize on anything, honestly. Uh, other than that, I'm like, just give me some Jamato fighting, and I'll be happy. Uh, but yeah, this is just a regular clip show. Not really a lot, but that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. I know everyone's riding the high of Don Brothers finale right now, so Geet's barely anyone was talking about on social media this morning when I was uh, waking up and having my coffee. But with that being said, I think you guys watching, let me know what you think. Uh, of this episode i know there wasn't too much new stuff going on but also i passed 900 subscribers on the channel i thank you guys so much i appreciate all the support everyone who checks out the videos the comments the likes the retweets on twitter everything i appreciate it immensely and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down below with that being said i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video